Julia Roberts asked for no special treatment to wed during the making of the Pelican Brief. She simply took her scheduled days off, married Lyle Lovett, then returned to the set, determined not to let Wedded Bliss show before the cameras of director Alan Pakula. Which is impossible, which in, in a normal world, I just wouldn't have told him until after the day's work. Mm -hmm. And then after a good day's work, you say, and by the way, I got married yesterday. And he's stunned and amazing. But I don't get that luxury because I don't get the luxury of telling people that I got married. Right. <laughs> the media took care of that, and Pakula, hearing the news, planned a prank for the actress's return. The scene called for a simple phone call. And John Hurd was supposed to be on the phone in New York. I always arrange phone patches so that the actors are talking to the real character on the other end. But then I decided in the last minute I would have Lyle Lovett on the phone. And I hear this voice say, yeah, and thinking, this is Lyle, you know. And I kept my cool and I just went on with the scene. and Gave a very good performance, never broke. And I thought, is it possible she hasn't known him long enough to know, to know his own voice, to know his vo the voice of her husband? I was looking for a chance to prove to Alan, who I could see through that tender fatherly smile, was panicked beyond belief that I had found ultimate happiness in my life in a time when I was playing a woman completely paranoid and fearful and depressed. And the minute the scene was over, she looked at me and she said, that wasn't true, that was my husband, Alan. <laughs> that was like the first take of the day. And Alan said, you know, like, cut, wrap, and we, they threw me a wedding reception in the stage. So we didn't, you know, we're all drinking champagne and listening to Lyle's music for two hours and then like sort of wobbled back to work and finished <laughs> up the day.